Amen. I'm going to ask you a random question. Yeah. How could you possibly kill 1,500 people in less than an hour? Gas? No. Chemical warfare? Air raids? Uh, I can't. Unless you use some nuclear weapons. Huh. Less than an hour? A bomb? Why would you kill 1,000, over 1,000 people? That's an awesome question. Do you know how Hitler was able to kill so many Jews in such a short amount of time? Uh, he used uh, gas chambers. They had the chemical back then. Gas chambers. He put everyone in chambers and he killed all of them by using chemical weapons. Now, this is a long time ago, right? Yeah. What if I told you... Well, not that long ago. Okay, what if I told you something like this just happened two days ago? I'd say you're crazy. Huh? Hey, you're crazy. I'm crazy. Yeah. But it did. Really? Wow. Where? Like the killing? I'd be astonished and pretty angry, I guess. Uh, I say that that's very tragic. Yeah. Do you know what's been going on in Syria? I mean, uh, I, I don't follow closely, but yeah, you know, I definitely know that people are dying, uh, innocent people. I was not that aware of it. You know what's going on in Syria? I have no, no idea. Uh, yeah, there's been a, more or less of a civil war and civil unrest for the last few years. No, I'm quite aware that it happened, and I think it's, uh, it's going back into the whole, um, what happened in Iraq with the Kurds. It's exactly the same thing. It's genocide. And I think it's obviously a horrible thing, and people should be aware of what's going on. Bashar al-Assad, the president or the so-called president of Syria, massacred over 1,500 people two days ago by using chemical weapons which contain serine, cycloserine. These chemicals attack the nerve cells in the body, attack the nerves and paralyze the human being. Not only that, they burn the lung tissue and burn the muscle tissue so you can have a slow and a painful death. Now, I know this is a lot to hear and this is rough, but I would like to take your permission to show you a video of the after effects of the chemicals. No blood, nothing, and I want to see what your reaction would be. Is that okay with you, ma'am? <laughs> I was just about to like walk away because it's just too much. To me at least, like, he's a bit desperate because it's the same thing as uh, nu nuclear weapons for example. You don't use them until basically you're beaten to the ground. I guess it shows that the end may be near hopefully. He is killing. He's absolutely a, a monster. He's worse than a Hitler, I can say. And I have nothing to do with Syria but human Humanity is calling me to intervene, to say something which is absolutely the right thing to do. You think something like this is legal? No, of course not. The countries that possess the veto power, what do you think they're doing about this now? Nothing. I'm guessing nothing. Russia and China have been supporting Bashar al-Assad for the past two years, ma'am. And do you know how many people have been killed in the past two years? In the past two years, over 100,000 people 100, have been killed by Bashar al-Assad's forces. What do you say about that? In a, in a Canadian comparison, that's like Southern Ontario being wiped out. And Obama mentioned that he will only intervene if Bashar al-Assad crosses the red line. And as you've seen, Bashar al-Assad took a brush, he drew the red line with the blood of the children. What would you like to say and what do you think we should be doing right now? I say we gotta help them out. Like Obama's gotta start doing something. We gotta, we gotta do something. Donating and <laughs> keep supporting Syria, making dua. That we need to really change our focus here. I'm really glad that you guys came here 
to really bring the message to where where the party's at, you know? I think one of the best things you could do is share is to share this with the world, let people know what's going on. Actually here, you know, we're so distracted in our, in our daily lives that we don't really, you know, take a time to think, but a movement, man. I think uh, the world needs to be paying attention to what's going to what's been happening there and I don't think we can ignore it too much longer.